I want to talk about how this is this past year has been literally up to the last couple of days. Uh, maybe I'll just say this now because I'm I'm leading into it, and then I'll lead with something happier afterwards. But this has been the hardest year of my life. I haven't there hasn't a day that has gone by that I haven't thought about this, and and it has really affected me. I thought I was a stronger person, um, and I'm not. I'm not. It has really affected me mentally and physically that I've worked for 10 years to get to become a director. It's all I like the last 10 years I had set my sight on doing this. And I finally got here. And eight weeks before you you took it away from me. And I am not good with it. And I am not I'm still not over it. And I need to I I need to figure that out. Yeah. Because it affects me every day and some days more than others when I go to work. And and um, it's not easy. And I'm getting emotional just talking about it right now. But and I'm it's, it, it's really hard. It's like losing a best friend or something like that. You know, it, it really is ha not having this movie come out and the opportunities that I'll be selfish and say that I was hoping it was going to bring to me. It was yeah. my direct door, directorial debut, and I was hoping this was going to open up a bunch of new doors for like what I call the third act of my career. I'm not getting any younger. I'm 56, <laughs> uh, and I was hoping that this was going to usher in a bunch, uh, sort of a new, you know, ending, you know, a third act to my career, and it it just it just all stopped, and it it really it, it hurts. It really really hurts. You need me to be honest and and totally transparent. This is me being that. I mean, that's why we really do appreciate you both being here. Because obviously, you know, we didn't reach out just when it happened, just because I can't imagine what it would have been like then, although it's not too much easier now, just for people to see the humans behind the projects. For all, there's a lot of Scooby fans going, we love Scooby, there's a Scooby thing we've lost. We're annoyed at that. At the end of the day, and and even us like with lifestyle as well like we're really sad about it but then there is stuff to think about like what we're gonna do for work and that, that but you guys the people that created all of this i think it's so important for those fans to not only see the scooby but the people behind that scooby as well i think that's amazing yeah, yeah well, you know like go ahead Bill. well i was gonna say one other thing like you know not only being inspired by this as a kid to become an animator and do this for a living when when I was signed on to, to do this for the past seven or eight years, you know, you know, bo both Krinsky and I, we, like, we took this serious. Like, the, it was like it's an honor in a, to to work on a franchise like this that did this, and I I took it as a responsibility to get it right. Like like if this is going to shape me as a person, as an animator in my career, I'm going to make sure if I get a chance to work on it, which I'm fortunate for, to try to do everything I can to make this as good as I possibly can. And, and we spent for holiday Han in, in directing, which is amazing that we got to do. Um, you know, we, we put everything into this. We everything. really did. And to have just a couple, we, gave, yeah. we, we gave everything and to have just a couple people, and I'm sad to say this, but to be able to make decisions to just pull the plug on something for a, a freaking tax break, like that's not fair, you know, and, and now I'm feeling emotional. It's not fair and it's not right. I mean, I was the production designer of this movie. I was the director, co-director. I, I I helped shape story on this thing. I gave yeah. creatively as much as one person, uh, sometimes more than just other directors have given. Like, cause yeah, I, I gave everything I had visually, story, everything, I emotionally, everything I had to this movie. And I think that I, I, I gave everything and it really hurts yeah. to not have it come out. And I want to I want to say one thing too that one of the with all this latest news with Coyote versus Acme and everything yeah. and all, it's sort of a resurgence of Save Scoob Holiday Haunt and things like that. There was a comment that I read by a bunch of different people wrote something in a similar vein that is not fair. And I and I want to if you're if you're one of these people, uh, I want you to listen to this. I didn't, if this movie, everyone was like, uh, they're not everyone. A couple of people said, oh, they got paid. So what does it matter? They, they, they got paid to do their, you know, they, they made their money. And it's like, you know what? 
I, if it came out tomorrow, I don't stand to make another cent more than what I made to make that movie, which wasn't like earth, you know, life changing money. We're not, um, it's not Tom Cruise money. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, and it's not, I'll be honest, it's not regular director money. Like no, I'm, a, it was a, it was first time animation director. That's not a lot of money. So, but yeah. my point is, is that, yeah, I got paid to come in and do my job every day, but it, that's not what wanting this to come out uh, is is about. I I don't stand to make no. any more money of it, and it's not about the money. It was about making something. We made something, and like I said, I gave everything I had as well as Bill did. You just you just want it to be seen, and yeah. for a long time I kept thinking, you know. It, you know, it, of that saying, like if a tree falls in the forest and nobody is there to hear it, does it make a sound? And for a while I was like, no, there's no sound. There's everything. And then I realized, no, there, there is a sound. There's yeah. a beautiful sound, a big, joyful, beautiful sound, because we know it exists. Everybody who worked on it knows how good this movie came out. And there is a sound, you know, and, and I just that keeps me going is that even if it doesn't come out um, just I, I, knowing it exists and how, how for Bill and I, we said this to each other, we were on a phone call with each other the other day. We did a good job for our first, first time directors. We, we did, a, we didn't just do our job. We did a good job and we made, we yeah. made something of value and of, of worth. And, and we're proud of it. We're very really proud. proud of it. Yeah. I mean, a lot, a lot of times it felt like sometimes when it was, you know, me and Krinsky and Tony and Deuce and Mitch and everybody, like like we were coming up with this stuff and almost making the movie for ourselves in a lot of ways. I mean, we're make, making it for an audience, of course, but, you know, we're also entertaining ourselves as we're making it and hoping the uh, the audience is going to love it as much as we do. 